What is up everyone? Welcome back to another Mirage tutorial video in which you're going to check out how you can listen to any smart contract event that occurs on an EVM chain and use that to fire a cloud function to run additional functionality you like, like sending an email or running a Morales EVM API call to fetch the image URL of a token that's being transferred. So that's what we have over here. We've set up a Morales stream to look at the CryptoPunk smart contract and see whenever a token is transferred from one address to another. When this occurs, it populates our Firestore database with documents and the details of that transaction event. So we have the from address, the to address, and the punk index. And using this new document that's being created, we have a Firebase Cloud function called new punk transfer that uses the Morales EVM API to fetch the image URL of the token being transferred so we can at the end display it nicely in our UI over here. If this sounds cool to you, stay stuck in and I'll show you how to build this. Hey, I'm Jay, your Morales instructor from beautiful Finland. I got into crypto in 2020 and I've been building in the space ever since. In my free time, I enjoy running and at the gym and in the summer, you'll definitely find me at the golf course. Now, let's get stuck in and learn about Web3. All right, let's kick things off with the prerequisites of this project. So you'll have to have a Firebase project set up and it should be on the Blaze plan over here. So you have to update from the Spark plan to the Blaze plan. Now in this project, you'll also need the Listen to the Blockchain Morales Firebase extension installed. If you haven't done so yet, there'll be a link in the top right of the corner right now where we take you through every step of installing this blockchain extension onto your Firebase project. So be sure to check that out if you haven't done so already. But if you have, great. This will have set you up with this function over here, Morales Streams webhook function, where you have the URL over here. So this is your webhook URL you'll need when you set up the stream on the Morales.io website. So that's basically the necessities on Firebase side for this project. So next we can jump into Morales.io. I've already logged in onto my admin panel. So if you haven't created an account, please do create an account. There'll be a link in the description if you need to create one. And after logging in, you should arrive to a page looking like this. On the left sidebar, you can press the streams button over here and it'll take you to the page where you can set up your Morales streams. We'll press new stream and we'll create one from scratch. First, we'll have to define a address which you want to look into. And because we're looking at CryptoPunks that are being transferred, we want to get the CryptoPunks NFT smart contract. Let's go ahead and open up OpenSea and check how we can find a NFT smart contract address. Beautiful. So here we're on the OpenSea page for CryptoPunks. And if we scroll down, we can click one of the NFTs over here. And over down, if we go down to the details, we can get the contract address over here, which should open us to Etherscan, where we get the contract for CryptoPunks. So you see the token tracker CryptoPunks over here, and we get the token address over here at the top, which we can copy and jump back into our Morales streams and paste it over in here. All right, the next step, now we scroll down, we give a description so we can easily identify it in the streams user interface. Let's just say CryptoPunk transfers like so. And then for a webhook URL, you should already have your webhook URL set up on Firebase side. So jump into your Firebase project over here in the functions, you can get and copy over your webhook URL jump back into Morales and paste your URL over in here. Now, finally, we have to give it a tag. So this is something Firebase will use to name the collection where it stores all the streams that are being sent from Morales to Firebase. Let's just name it CryptoPunks transferred as well, like so. And now we're ready to scroll down and select the network. Of course, CryptoPunks are stored on the Ethereum mainnet. So we switch this toggle for Ethereum mainnet. But if you're looking at any other smart contract on any other EVM chain, you select that EVM chain from this list over here. Now scrolling down, we'll go on and look at the contract interactions. So click that. And then we are going to look at event emittance because we're only concerned about the punks being transferred. We're not interested in punks being bid for or punks being offered for sale. We're only being interested in punks that have been transferred. So we'll have to provide the contract application binary interface over in this field. And then that will allow us to select the topic we are interested in. So jump back into Etherscan that you should have open already. Here you'll see this tab called contract over here. If we scroll down, we have the smart contract for the CryptoPunks token. And over here, you see all these events. So these are always fired after some instance happens on the smart contract. So for example, punks being transferred, punks being offered, punk bids being entered, punk bids being withdrawn, and so on and so forth. So essentially, you can think of these as events that are emitted to everyone to see what's going on on the smart contract. So if we scroll down, we actually get the contract application binary interface where we have the details of the smart contract, for example, the events. So we can copy this over here, copy the clipboard, jump back into Morales and paste it all over in here. 
And Morales is so smart that it figures out from the ABI all the events that this smart contract events, and we can pick and choose which we want to listen to in this stream. And as I said, we're only interested in punks being transferred. So we click that and then we scroll down. Of course, here we could add some additional options like we'd be only interested in punks that are being transferred and the value associated to the transfer is over 50 Ethereum, but we'll leave that for a future tutorial. Now go ahead and create the stream. And look at that, Morales has created our stream now and we're tracking whenever CryptoPunks are transferred using the CryptoPunks smart contract. And because we hooked up the webhook URL from Firebase, now all these events are populated into our Firestore database when they occur. So if we jump in our Firebase project, here in the sidebar, we can check the Firestore database. And since I've had the stream running for quite a while, so I have a couple of CryptoPunk transfer events already occurred over here. Look at all these events. So if we click it, we get all these details, the block hash, the block number when it occurred. And because the event emits a from address and a to address and the index of the punk that was transferred, we get those details in here as well. And just to show you that this is actually the event that occurred on the smart contract of punk 7371 being transferred, we can copy the transaction hash from over here, give that a copy, and then jump back into etherscan, paste it into etherscan, and look at this, we check out the logs for this transaction and we had a punk transfer. We have the from address over here, the to address and the punk index 7371. So this is actually a event that was emitted by the smart contract when punk 7371 was emitted. And now anytime a new punk is transferred on the smart contract, a new document will be created in our Firestore database with details of that transfer. And the cool thing about this now is that we can use a Firebase cloud function to see when a no new document is populated into this CryptoPunk transferred collection and then fire some extra logic. For example, we can use the Morales EVM API to search for this token index and get the image URL so we can get a image of the punk that was transferred or we could fire a text message or an email, whatever you could think of. But in this example, I'll just show you how you can fire the Morales EVM API to get the image of this punk and actually populate that image URL in this document as well. So now open up Visual Studio Code. And radio here we're in Visual Studio Code. And if you follow the previous tutorial, you should have this repository with a extension folder, a front end folder and a Firebase JSON file. Again, I'll add a link to the top right of the corner right now if you want to follow the previous tutorial where we set up the Firebase CLI. So essentially, this is just a storage of our Firebase project on our local machine. Now we can go ahead and add Firebase functions over here where we can write our cloud function logic and then deploy it to our Firebase project online. So jump into the terminal, write Firebase init functions, press enter, choose the language you prefer, we'll do JavaScript, we don't have to enforce ESLint, and we want to install dependencies, yes. And you should notice a functions folder being created into your Firebase project repository. And that's wonderful. Now if we open this folder functions over here, we have node modules and a index.js. So the index.js is where you'll write your different Firebase cloud functions. But before that, we'll have to CD into this folder. So in the terminal, type in CD functions, and we'll also want to install Morales so we can actually run the Morales EVM API over in our cloud function. So we run npm i Morales. Great. So now Morales is installed for our Firebase cloud functions. We can close down the terminal and also import Morales to our index.js file over here at the top. Const Morales is equal to require Morales.default. Now we can remove the comments over here and create our cloud function. We do it by running exports and giving our cloud function a name. And in this case, we'll also be using a Firestore function. So it's a function that's triggered by a Firestore event. All right. And then for the next line, we want to look in to any changes in documents in the CryptoPunks transferred collection. So if we check back into Firebase, we have this CryptoPunks transferred collection, which is located within the Morales collection in the events document that contains the CryptoPunks transferred collection. And we have all these documents of different events being emitted by the smart contract, which have a unique ID. So that is what this line is doing is checking whenever a new event is created for any document ID in the CryptoPunks transferred collection. Now we only want to look at new documents being created. So let's use the onCreate method like so. 
So whenever a new document is created, so a new stream becomes available for Morales, we take a snapshot of the data within that document. So all the two address, the from address, the punk index, and so on and so forth. And we can also use the snap as a reference when we want to update that document itself. Now it's in this function, start writing our logic of what we want to happen when a new document is created. Of course, here you could do whatever you like, like sending an email, sending text messages or whatever, but we'll just update this document itself. All right, so first things first, we of course want to get the punk index so we can actually fetch the image for that specific punk. So we look into the snapshot data and we get the punk index. Now let's initialize a instance of Morales so we can actually run the Morales EVM API to get the NFT data like so. So you have to provide your Morales API key in here. So this is the same API key you used in your Morales project over here. So you can just copy it from your Morales admin dashboard and paste it over in here. This is just a test one. So don't be using this one. Now next we'll actually use the get NFT token ID owner endpoint to get details for a specific token. Of course, if you like, go check out the Morales documentation for in-depth analysis of each of these endpoints. But essentially, this get NFT token ID owners method only takes a required address, which we pass the CryptoPunks token address. And then we pass the token ID, which we already fetched over here from the streamed event. Now, what we can do is parse the metadata object and get the image URL from the metadata of this NFT. So because Morales fetches the metadata for this token ID, it allows us to get the image. We do that in this line over here. So we get the response, the raw format of the response, then it'll have a results array. And because we're only searching this one token ID, it'll be the first element in the results array and getting the metadata. The metadata is in stringified format. So that's why we're just parsing that metadata. And then finally, what this function returns is setting of the document image key. So we take the document over here as a reference, and we set the image key as the metadata's image property. And we make sure that pass the merge equals true. So we don't create a new document or overwrite the document we already had, but we merge all the data that's in the document currently with this new set of data. So the image key, which is not present by default, when we are streaming the data from Morales, we just add the image. So in this case, now we get an image added every time a new stream of a crypto bunk being transferred is added to our Firestore database. And that is how easy it is. Save that. And now all we have to do is deploy this function so Firebase can use it and actually start updating our documents every time a new stream of a crypto prank enters the Firestore database. So I'll open up your terminal. Over in the terminal, go ahead and write Firebase deploy dash dash only functions. Press enter. And here you see we're creating Node.js 16 function, new punk transfer. So after a while, this should run. So I'll jump back to you when this is run and completed our function creation. All right, that didn't take long at all. And now our deploy is complete. Now let's go check out our function on our Firebase admin dashboard. So open up Google Chrome, navigate to Firebase and check out the functions tab over here where we see a new punk transfer function has been created. Now to check if this works, let's jump into our Firestore database and it should trigger every time a new document is created in this crypto punk transferred collection. Now, if we go check out Etherscan and jump into the crypto punks contract over here, we can check out the events and it seems like this punk transfer happened 37 minutes ago. And the last punk transfer over here, if we scroll down happened three hours and 18 minutes ago, we'd have to wait quite a while for a new punk to be transferred. So we can mimic a new punk being transferred into our Firebase Firestore database. So we don't have to wait that 30 minutes. So why we do that is we add a document, we auto ID it, and a new stream would have the details of the two address, we can just say test over here, add another field, let's say, from is test two. And then the final field is the punk index. And as you remember, in our cloud functions, we made sure to check what the punk index is and use that token ID when we call the Morales EVM API to get the image of that punk index. So let's add a, a random punk index over here. Let's do a nice round thousand. So we should get the image of crypto punk token ID 1000. Now, when we save this, a new document was created over here with only from address to address and the punk index. But look at that. Now our cloud function ran the Morales EVM API for this punk index thousand. And we got the image URL for that token. So if we click that and copy this up, open it up in another browser window, 
check that out. That is token index 1000 for the crypto punks. And it's automatically being generated by Firebase cloud function every time a new stream is being updated into our Firestore database. So that is how simple it is to trigger cloud functions when any smart contract events occur. One last thing I'll show to you is now you might want to display this data in a React app. So let's jump back into our Visual Studio Code app. We have this front end folder. It's basically the same as we had in our previous streams tutorial. So go check that out. Just jump into the source folder. And also there'll be a link to this repository in the link in the description. So you can check that out as well. Just check out the app.js file. What you'll have to do is you'll have to bring your own Firebase config file. You can get that from your Firebase project over here. You should have one app open, the testing app. If you press the cog, scroll down, you have the Firebase config file over here, which you have to copy bring it over in here. And then when you have this use effect over here, where we're creating a listener for our CryptoPunks transferred collection, you just have to make sure that you paste the collection address over here for your Firestore database bucket. So you get all the updates in real time. And then finally over here, we're just creating a table where we're getting the from and to address, the image and the token ID, which we're running through all the transactions from our CryptoPunks transferred collection and displaying them. So in our terminal, let's clear this up, go ahead and CD back into the main folder and then CD into the front end folder, run npm i to install all the dependencies. And now you can go ahead and run npm run start or npm run build if you want to actually host this on Firebase. And look at this cool app that it runs for us on my device automatically opens localhost 3000. But if it doesn't just jump into a browser and type localhost 3000, and you should get to this page. And look at this, I manually inputted all the other images over here. But you start automatically getting all the crypto punk transfers from the smart contract displayed on this page. Here we see the test that we just created the from address to to address, and then the image and that is how you can run Firebase cloud functions to trigger different events you would like from blockchain events streamed by Morales. I hope this video was informative for you. You can put Morales streams into good use. I'll catch you in the next one.